YouTube, TKRL Tech here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get Windows 7 Ultimate on your Mac for free. Uh, if you want to see a demo on how this works, um, check back on my, not my previous video, but the one before that. I do a little demo. And um, if you don't want to just search for it, I'll just click the screen right now. There will be an annotation. So please note that this is not uh, via boot camp. This is via VMware, which is a virtual machine, and um, that's both an, ad an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage is that, is that you can run Mac OS X and Windows 7 at the same time, because it's just an application. The disadvantage is that you can't really use the CD drive in Windows, or at least I haven't figured it out yet. I think it's um, really complicated. Um, but if I ever do figure out how to do that, I'll uh, make a tutorial. But anyways, there's a few things you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a BitTorrent client. I recommend uTorrent. So you just go to uTorrent.com, or there will be a link in the description, and you download it. Then, you're going to have to go to this link in the description. Um, this is uh, Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit. And then you're just going to click right here, download this torrent, and then you're, you're going to save file, and you're going to double click it, and it should open in uTorrent, and then it will start downloading, but I don't, um, I already downloaded it. So, once you are done downloading it, um, you should get um, this, Win7 number 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 ISO maybe a few other things but all you actually need is this file then once you have that downloaded you're gonna go to this link and here I uploaded the virtual machine application serial uh, core key gen for the virtual machine where application and then serials for Windows 7 so you're just gonna download this and um, when you download this you're gonna get this zip file when you unzip it you'll find these three files inside. Now once you have everything downloaded, the first thing you want to do is uh, mount the VMware Fusion.dmg. And then you're going to install VMware Fusion and it's going to run you through a process and it might ask you for some updates. While you're installing Virtual Machine, or VMware, it might ask you for a uh, serial number. Well, not might, it will actually ask you for a serial number. And that's when this uh, core key gen that you downloaded from the link in the description comes in handy. <clears throat> uh, before you open it up, make sure to mute your volume because um, it plays really loud, annoying music. So you open it up, and then you just hit generate. And then you copy, you double click on this, it copies it to your clipboard, and then that's the key, the serial key that you use um, for VMware when it asks you for one. And then the installation process should continue and complete. But uh, once you have that installed, you're good. Then um, you're going to open up VMware Fusion, and it should bring you to a page like this. Uh, you won't have this part right here because. Um, this is Windows 7 that I installed. You'll just have this. Then what you're going to do is um, you're going to click on install Windows as a, another operating system in a new virtual machine. And um, you don't actually have a disk of Windows 7, but you have the um, disk image, which is this. So basically this is what would be on the disk if you actually bought Windows 7, but it's not on the disk. So you're going to hit continue without disk. Then you're going to use, click this, use operating system file. Then you're going to go to wherever you have the ISO, and you're going to choose it. Then you're going to hit continue. Then here it's going to let you choose your um, operating system, but I mean, I just leave it on the default because this is the operating system you actually have. <clears throat> and here it's going to um, ask you for your name and whatever you want your password to be for Windows and then you're gonna have to enter the Windows product key uh, which right here um, if you open up this there will be four Windows product keys 
and you're just going to copy one of them and paste it into right here and you're going to hit continue and then here you get to choose between more seamless and more isolated now I recommend more isolated because um, more seamless merges your Mac files with uh, your Windows files so if you were to get a virus on your PC virtual machine it could potentially affect your Mac files however if you're more isolated there's no risk of um, your Windows files harming or affecting your Mac files in any way. Um, but like I was saying earlier about um, virtual machine being an advantage and disadvantage over boot camp, um, that's only more isolated. I'm not sure if you choose more seamless, then maybe the CD drive thing I was talking about would work better. So you can experiment with that. However, I definitely recommend more isolated because um, as you may know, PCs are a lot more prone to viruses than Macs, and you don't want uh, anything happening to your Mac documents. So you're just going to choose more isolated and hit continue. And here it's going to show you some settings that you can change at any time. And I would say always open this virtual machine when VMware Fusion starts. And then you're just going to hit finish. And then you're going to um, save it as whatever you want and wherever you want so then when you double click on that icon it will open the virtual machine and you hit save and then it's um, basically gonna set up windows on the virtual machine now this is going to take a while this will take a good 10 or 15 minutes um, just setting up and everything and uh, windows in the virtual machine will, will restart quite a few times it's gonna set everything up so I'm just gonna pause recording and then uh, once this whole setup process is done I'm gonna continue uh, recording and I'll kinda show you around how it works and everything so it's not done installing but I thought I'd record the installation process a little bit just to make sure that um, you know your computer and your virtual machine is doing the right thing so it should show this and then it will expand the windows files and then install everything else and then it will be done so like i said before i'm going to pause recording now and then resume recording once it's all installed all right so now windows um it's done installing it's done setting up um it's now ready for use as you can see i'm using it i'll go to full screen um, and it works great. Here it tells me uh, if I press command, control, and return at the same time, it will exit full screen. And I'll go back to window mode. But as you can see, it works great. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, be sure to like, favorite, comment, and uh, definitely subscribe. I'll have a bunch more uh, videos like this up in the future. So thanks for watching. Peace.